This one is sophisticated. You mean business when you pull out this one. Guys, welcome to my channel, XOXO Shiba here. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. And if you're an OG subscriber, what's good? Welcome back. As y'all know, I'm very into perfume. Like, very into perfume. It's a problem. I'm always blind buying something. Literally, my collection went from maybe like one or two to like 30 in a good six months. But in that time frame, I've become a bit of a fragrance kind of sore. And I recently dove into trying some Arabic fragrances from Swiss Arabian. The brand is available on Amazon. I'll have the link in the description for you if you want to check them out. But I pretty much bought not even pretty much. I brought all the fragrance oils. Now, one of them I've had, Lay Ali Rouge, which I'll show you guys in a minute. I've had that one for a while, and then I ended up buying the rest of them to try them out. I love Lay Ali Rouge, but I'll save my review for when I start reviewing it. First of all, can we just admire the bottle this comes in? I feel like it's very true to like the culture that it's from. So they all open the same way. They're twist tops, and you open it, and it's got a little rod inside, and you can dip it. And apply the oil where you want to apply it to your pulse points. Maybe put it in your hands, put a little bit on your hair. That's a tip. But this one in particular is the one I was talking about earlier. This is Le Ali Rouge. This one is a very nice fruity floral that's really smooth with it. I like layering with this one a lot. It starts out with the top notes of being uh, lemon and papaya. And then you hit the middle notes. It's a nice smooth coconut in there. And then it finishes off in the dry down with peach and rose. I, like I said, I love this one for layering. This is great if you want to make a scent a little bit stronger. Maybe you have some toilets that are pretty floral and you want it to be a little bit more powerful. Pull out this oil. I like layering with a lot of things. It's very versatile. Hey, my camera died on me mid explaining in Leali Rouge, y'all, but I'm back. These fragrances, at least for Leali Rouge, I haven't taken a look at the reviews on the other ones fully just yet, but while it is an amazing scent, it's not a long lasting scent. So it's something I definitely prefer to use for layering purposes. I don't usually do this or really any perfume oils by itself. I really stick to using this for strengthening a perfume that I'm already going to wear or, you know, just adding a little unique touch. This one is a Molly. See, I was about to act like I just knew the notes off the top of my head, but I don't, I'm on my phone. A Molly's top notes are cedarwood and vanilla. And then the middle notes are pineapple and lemon. And then the bottom notes, the dry down, it's giving jasmine and rose. Let's take a little sniff. I'm not as familiar with the others because I just got them in August. Whereas Le Ali Rouge, the first one I showed y'all, I've had that one for like a couple months. So I'm real familiar with that one. This one, not so familiar with yet. I have, this is one I've started to wear second to Le Ali Rouge. In sniffing them all beforehand, I do feel like this is my second favorite so far. Yeah, I feel like the citrus notes on this one really pop out. It's very bright. It's very just fresh and clean smelling. The cedarwood note and I feel like the lemon note really kind of come together. It's just different. I usually don't like a lemony kind of scent too much. I like citrusy scents, like a fruity floral, but I'm not huge on like a lemony scent. Like if you've ever smelled Poets of Berlin, I don't like that one. It smells like pine salt to me. But this one, I feel like the cedar notes in it still make it fragrancy to me and not like so much like cleaner. Cause that's what lemon scents be giving me sometimes is cleaner. This is just really blended together well. I can get the hints of the pineapple in it and I can get the notes of the jasmine and the rose in it too. Like. I feel like all of the notes within this, like the top, bottom, and middle notes, are just all very present within this one. I like this one a lot. So this one is Yul Ali, and again, the bottles for me. They're just so luxurious. But Yul Ali has top notes of bergamot and tangerine, middle notes of magnolia and jasmine, and then the bottom notes are sandalwood and musk. I haven't worn this one yet. The first two I just showed you I have worn, and I like a lot, but I have not worn this one yet. I've only smelled it since I bought it. Yeah, I definitely can really smell the bergamot off the top. And I feel like I also really smell those bottom notes off rip too, even though it's, you know, the dry down notes. Like it's either the sandalwood or the musk. I'm not, I'm not well versed enough in the difference between sandalwood and musk. I, I like a feminine, real feminine scent most of the time. So I don't usually wear too many things that have sandalwood and musk in it. But I feel like Whichever one of those notes it is, I really smell it. And it blends together very well with the bergamot. That's one thing about these oils. These notes, they blend together so well. I feel like with most perfumes that I have tried, I smell the notes in order of how they dry down to. This, I feel like I can smell everything all at once. And it's like it's like that on purpose because it all blends together well. Because you know, sometimes with a perfume, you might be like, oh, I don't like this initial spray, but I really like how it dries down. 
This, I feel like I can just, like I said, smell all the scents in it. Side note, did y'all know you can't talk and smell at the same time? Can I do? I can do it with my mouth open, but wow. Anyway, all of these, I would definitely say if you want to layer it with a perfume, go for a fruity floral. Or even maybe like a, a, a more unisex masculine scented perfume might go well with these because it, come on lid. There we go, to add a little bit of a feminine flair to it. I like to do that too. I have a masculine perfume that I have yet to show y'all. I do need to show y'all it. But uh, it's a little more masculine in the scent than what I usually go for. But I've noticed when I layer it, I can add a little bit of a feminine touch that's extra to it. You just wanna make sure like the notes match up. I should do a video on how to layer. So this one is Le Ali. So I'm assuming this is their original fragrance oil since the other one is Le Ali Rouge. This one has top notes of black currant and orange flower, middle notes of oud and amber, and bottom notes are Lang Lang and Rose. I know some of y'all might be wondering what is Lang Lang because I had to wonder that too the other day. So I went ahead and Googled it. And basically it's a plant and it has more of a fruity floral scent. It's reminiscent of like a jasmine and neroli mixture. Google also says it's reminiscent of banana paired with like a creamy custard or a tangy rubber. What is tangy rubber? I was really excited about trying this one because I've never had a oud fragrance before. So I mean it's in the middle notes of this one. It's not the superstar of the fragrance but I was excited to be like what's that really like? So this one to me is the most different. It is the strongest I would say. It's not the boldest one of the bunch. I think the other ones are a little bit bolder but I do find and if you watch my fragrance videos you know I like fruity florals and I think those really pop to me. This one is a strong scent and it does stand out but it's not a fruity floral. This is not a sweet fragrance really at all. This one is sophisticated. You mean business when you pull out this oil. I would actually consider it pretty unisex. It does kind of give me that like clean soapy vibe that men's fragrances tend to have, but it's still a little bit different. The citrusy notes we mentioned, I can kind of tell they're there, but not a whole lot. I can get to the rose. I do notice the rose scents within it, but this to me is definitely a more masculine scent. I think because it does have the notes of the orange flower and the Lang Lang in it, you still could possibly pair this with a fruity floral. I think it'd be fun to explore and see what you could layer it with with that. But this one to me is just very unique. Now I could be mistaken, but I follow Fumi Monet on TikTok and I believe she spoke on this being her favorite oil from Swiss Arabian. So if you want something that's a little bit more sophisticated, a little bit outside of the box, uh, for feminine fragrances, I would definitely give this a try. My favorite thing about these oils is that they're all under $25 currently, and I don't think they're really ever over $30, so luxury on a budget. If you're interested in anything that I've mentioned, you already know down in my description box, there's the link to my Amazon store. You got